That unhealthy air quality prompted the Beaverton School District to cancel all outdoor sports practices today. District officials say they will continue to monitor the conditions, and people say when air quality is this bad, people should avoid outside activities. So that means that this poor air quality likely to chase many high school athletes off their respective outdoor practice fields today. Poor Harlan visited with a local cross country team this morning to show us how their work goes on, even if it isn't where they usually practice. Cor. Hi, Jenny and Ken. That is very likely to be the case today. Not a lot of athletic teams are going to be out on their respective fields in the Portland area and, for that matter, throughout the state of Oregon. I just checked the DEQ. Uh, they have a great app there on air quality, and it shows that only Coos and Curry counties in Oregon are the only counties that do not have any sort of an air or smoke advisory out. So the air is bad across the state, and as you mentioned, that has prompted a lot of athletic teams who would normally be outside to go indoors for a day of practice today. With the sun still below the horizon and air quality still just as bad, if not worse than it was Monday, members of Tigard High School's cross-country team crowded into the school's small gym to work on things that need working on even when they can't run outside. You have to make do with what you have and we work on um, stability, strength training, some agility work um, just to keep them on their feet and keep them moving until the air comes back to healthy condition. Also this morning in the cross country shed near the track, the team stretched out and we met with Oscar, an avid tigered runner who prefers his eight mile daily runs barefoot. I'm excited that my teammates got stronger over this past summer. There are a couple of other teammates who are not here but are really, really fast and I don't know, I'm excited to have this kind of competition. Brad Garrett of the Oregon School Activities Association says air quality is bad all over Oregon today and it is conceivable he says that every team in the state might not be allowed on a field today. This is some bad air that we're mixing with right now. And if we're going to air at all, Corps, it's going to be on the side of health and safety of kids. Bad air is expected to blow out of the area later this week. That'll get kids in their sports, be they cross country or football, back on the field and taking in the life lessons beyond the X's and O's that sports instill in high school kids. All right, back here to a live picture atop the coin tower here at about four or 500 feet. I can feel that air, wind blowing from the east as my photographer Adam Thompson gives you sort of a, a view from a distance here and a look at the haze as we look out over north and east Portland here. It is uh, pretty socked in just about everywhere around the panorama. I look out here. Uh, and again, it is conceivable. I did check that DEQ website. The only place that is showing levels of healthy air in the state right now is out in Enterprise, Oregon, about five and a half hours away from here. But everywhere else between here and there, Jenny and Ken, everything in the red today, and that is likely to mean a lot of your athletic teams, your high school teams who are going back to school for back to school athletics will be indoors today and not out on any track or field of any sort. Jenny and Ken.